In this video, we present our paper, Unsupervised Domain Adaptation for LiDAR Panoptic Segmentation. LiDAR Panoptic Segmentation approaches achieve remarkable performance on data obtained from the same LiDAR sensor configuration as used for training. However, the performance drops significantly when evaluated on scans from a notably different LiDAR setup. This drop in performance can be attributed to the domain gap brought about by the different sensor configurations such as different number of scan lines, mounting positions and intensity calibrations. To address this domain gap, we propose ADAPT LPS, the first unsupervised domain adaptation approach for LiDAR panoptic segmentation. We address the domain gap using two complementary strategies, namely data-based domain adaptation and model-based domain adaptation. Data-based domain adaptation reduces the disparity between the LiDAR scans obtained from the source and target domains. Firstly, a post-correction module transforms the poses of all laser scans to a common reference frame. Virtual scans are then generated from the source data to simulate the characteristics of the target data in terms of the field of view and the sensor resolution. Lastly, our intensity mapping network aligns the intensity distributions between the source and target point clouds using an encoder-decoder architecture. Subsequently, the model-based domain adaptation minimizes the domain gap by aligning the domain-specific knowledge stored in the learned network parameters. To this end, our approach uses an unbalanced optimal transport formulation to align the intermediate network features at multiple scales. This formulation is further augmented with an instance-aware sampling paradigm to allow for an equal representation of all instances and classes in the optimal transport cost matrix. Our post-correction module accounts for the different mounting positions of the LiDAR sensors. We first estimate the road plane by regressing the plane coefficients using the RANSAC algorithm. The virtual LiDAR is then rotated so that it is parallel to the estimated road plane and its height is set to a fixed value of 1.75 meters. Further, we account for the domain gap between the patterns of LiDAR point clouds by simulating data from the target domain using the source domain. We achieve this by first accumulating static point clouds across every trajectory and by fitting a mesh to each dynamic object. We then simulate the target data by projecting this point cloud onto a 2D image plane with its height set to the number of scan lines and its width set to a fixed value of 1024 pixels. We also propose a novel multi-scale optimal transport formulation to minimize the domain gap caused by the learned network parameters. This formulation generates an optimal transport matrix that matches the multi-scale features across the source and target domains using the Euclidean distance. This matrix is then used to minimize the distance between the matched features, which in turn minimizes the domain gap in the learned parameters. However, solving optimal transport differentiably and iteratively on multiple scales is infeasible due to its quadratic space complexity. We address this limitation by first sampling from the feature space and using the sampled features in the optimal transport cost matrix. However, we observe that random subsampling primarily captures the global statistics, which is especially problematic for scenes having a severe class and object size imbalance. We resolve this shortcoming by introducing instance-aware sampling, which samples a fixed number of points across every class and instance in the scene. Such sampling ensures equal representation for all objects in the scene, which allows for the alignment of both the global as well as the local scene statistics. Our method achieves state-of-the-art results in the panoptic segmentation task by outperforming its competitors by a large margin. Specifically, when using efficient LPS as a base network, our approach outperforms the best baseline by 6.41 percentage points on semanticity to new scenes, by 2.36 percentage points on semantic kitty to panda set and by 1.86 percentage points on new scenes to panda set. Here are some qualitative results from our model. The images on the left are the panoptic outputs obtained when the no domain adaptation is performed, while the images on the right are the panoptic results obtained after incorporating a domain adaptation strategy. Here, we observe that our approach allows us to accurately detect the instances in the scene, while the model with no domain adaptation incorrectly predicts the instances.
For more information about our work, please visit the project page using the URL shown here.